Hello, welcome back. Today I'm painting in the Channel Islands. It's nice when you're somewhere different to actually paint outside on the spot. So I'm going to show you how I got on painting in the car. So you arrive at the beach and it starts to rain. Don't give up, paint in the car. Do a quick sketch and just work out where you want the middle of the picture to be and then work everything out on the right and then the left coming forwards from the horizon. I've got a portable paint box and water in the drinks container. I'm having to put the windscreen wipers on every now and again but the rain it has eased off. I'm starting with making a sky which I'm just mixing a few blues and greys together and I'll put them on side to side. I'm using a number eight flat brush to do this in the car. When you're painting on site, you really need to reduce your kit as much as possible. Then adding a homemade gray to the top, just to show the variations in the sky. Next, I'm putting in the sand color where it's really dry and looks a traditional orange sand. Further in, there's lots of piles of seaweed and drifts of water where the sand's slightly lower so it's got a few puddles. The breakwater is very dark and there's lots of stones that are covered in weed and barnacles so I'm using a warm brown and then I'm going to add detail in a darker brown. There's also lots of rock there's a similar colour on the beach purely because it's got the same growth on it. So I'm going to do those side to side I've started by marking off the rocks that are against the breakwater. You can see where they are up and down. And then moving further out towards the horizon, there's quite a lot of rocks. And if you're painting when the tide's coming in, they are going to disappear. So you want to put them in before the water if you can. So having got the rocks in towards the horizon, I'm now looking for anything else. So there's lots of rocks on the left hand side of the channel and they are quite different. There's lots of sand trapped in between them and little rivers of water. It might seem strange to carry on using the large flat brush but you can use a corner of it or change the way you're using it. You needn't use it flat, you could use it on its side. But if you are painting in the car the last thing you want is half a dozen brushes rolling under the seat. You need to just keep your kit to the minimum. And you could do an awful lot with one brush. Now, moving back to the water, it's deeper water on the right, so it's a different colour. So I've got more turquoisey green water on the left, and I'm going to make the water on the right more of a grey blue by mixing a little bit of Payne's Grey or homemade grey with the French Ultramarine. By changing the colour of the water from left to right it adds more interest to the picture as does the sand that's sometimes grey, sometimes brown seaweed and then orangey sand. You just have to make a picture interesting. I'm now changing to the brush that came with the set which I think is a size four there's nothing written on it but it's a handy little brush it's got a short handle which is quite good for traveling with i'm now adding the rocks on the left of the channel which are more closely formed than the islands on the right and a slightly lighter warmer color moving to the beach there's lots of seaweed up against the breakwater which is a darker brown so i'm putting that in with the small brush as well just so that I can put a few squiggles in it. Don't want it to look flat because the sand looks flat. So that's complete. I'm now moving outside because it's stopped raining and I'm going to try standing up outside painting on the seawall. So I've done a very quick sketch. Some of the boats have moved since yesterday just to give me an idea of where to start. And I've got some portable paint box here that even comes with its own brush. So I'm going to start with putting a sky in. Let's 
flat to sketch down. This is just being done roughly because when I get back to the studio, I can always do something more complicated from it. But I've got the colours. And if you're using your photograph, everything's so much smaller and you haven't always got the colours. So the next step is to put the water in that's coming in. And it's slightly warmer because it's mixed with the sand. So I'll just put the water in the middle where it's coming in the channel. It's quite dark on the horizon, so I'm going to add French Ultramarine and Viridian together to make a dark colour. Because I'm painting outside, the sky should have dried already, so it's going to go along very gently with the Viridian and Blue mix. And then as it comes forward, it fades off. So I'll just put, put it in gently and then use some water just to fan it out a bit. Because it really is just an, an open channel that's filling with water. The next thing is to put in the sand that I can see, which isn't all sand colour. Some of it's quite grey. So I'm using, as I did with the initial sketch, yellow ochre. Just putting it in, just to claim the space. The colours are so much more important than the detail when you're doing a sketch. Because you can always take a photograph with your phone and get all the detail. And then there's sand either side of the channel where it's coming in, as well as brown rocks. So put those in and that's given the essence of the picture. So the breakwater's got a white end for navigation and then the rest of it's quite brown so I'm going to use paint grey and burnt sienna. Just putting it in gently. can add detail later. And there's lots of seaweed on the beach. So I'm going to use burnt sienna and yellow ochre together. And just put in the patches of seaweed. Make it a bit darker. Add a little bit of blue to make it darker, a little bit of Payne's grey and French Ultramarine. And then the rocks going out are darker again, so I'm going to use Burnt Sienna and Payne's grey together. Wiping the brush off so it's a bit drier and then just dropping them in sideways movements. It doesn't matter if they bleed a little. And the same on the other side. There's a lot more sand on the left. So I'll put the sand in first and then put the dark on top. And as I'm standing here, the tide's coming in a bit more, so I can add a bit more blue around the breakwater. And I've got one boat. There's lots here, but I'm just using one. I'm going to make a dark blue out of French Ultramarine and Payne's Grey. Now the next step is to add a little bit of detail to the rocks. I've added a little bit more detail to the rocks and we've got the comparison of the 
sketch inside the car on the right and standing out in a breeze on the left and panning up to the real view. Now you can see the real view's got a lot more boats and a lot more detail but it's more distant. If you're sketching it you can be a bit more selective and look out for the heightened colours. And I hope you'll try sketching yourself quite soon. Thank you for watching.